Sadly, no one teaches your rights as a civilian, so I guess that's up to a short stoned lady today. Hey y'all, it's Short and Stoned, but if you're new here, you can call me Kelly. I'm a Canna advocate, medical patient, and solventless foods entrepreneur. On today's episode, we are going to be breaking down the 25 word trademark script by the Pop Brothers at Law, which is what you need to know in case you're pulled over with product in your vehicle. Alright guys, thanks for tuning in to this week's video. I'm so happy to share with you some very important news as this script could be the difference between you sitting in jail and sitting at home. If you don't know, the Pot Brothers at Law are two brothers out of California who are legends in this community. Thanks to their viral shut the fuck up script. It is a must know for when you have a police encounter. Today, I am going to explain to you each part of the script and help make sure you have it memorized. I'm also going to explain why it is so effective and how you can properly implement it when you are pulled over. Everything here will stand up in a court of law and is 100% based on your civilian rights. So stay tuned for more. Knowledge is power and sadly, no one teaches your rights as a civilian. So I guess that's up to a short stoned lady today. For those of you who don't know, Mark and Craig Wiseman. I got to meet them at a expo. They are criminal defense attorneys who obviously specialize in Canna cases. They're brothers dedicated to a no nonsense approach to helping educate the public in how to deal with the police. They've even helped thousands of people avoid unnecessary charges and their script has proven to be key in helping consumers navigate police stops and searches. They have trademarked their 25 word script. This keeps you from saying anything that could self incriminate you or that the police can use against you. Are you ready to have it broken down step by step? Here's the script. It's short, it's sweet, it's designed to be easily kept in the back of your mind and regurgitated for a police officer in a time of stress. It's essential to not say more than what's necessary. One, why did you pull me over? When an officer first approaches your vehicle, you want to ask this right off the bat. This gives the cop a reason to clearly articulate why you are being pulled over, which can be crucial later if this ends up in court. Two, I am not discussing my day with you. Guess what? You don't have to tell them anything about where you're headed or where you're coming from. This is a fishing technique used by cops to try to get you to self-incriminate. Don't fall for it. By not discussing your day, this shows that you are not trying to engage in an unnecessary conversation. Simple and effective. Three, am I being detained or am I free to go? This next question is key. If you're not being detained, you are free to leave. And if they can't give you a reason for detaining you, it may indicate that they do not have enough probable cause. Again, you're staying polite, but you're also asserting your rights. No one wants to be illegally detained. Number four, and if you are detained, you invoke the fifth. Invoking your fifth amendment is your constitutional right not to talk and give up any information that they can go and then turn and use against you. Saying you invoke the fifth shows you know your rights and you're standing firm in your ground of not self-incriminating. Number five, and if you are going to talk to them, you don't say jack crap until your lawyer's present. The magic words, I want my lawyer. I said that's so serious. I felt like I was in a crime show. You say I want your lawyer legally they can't say anything else to you till your legal counsel is present this is for your protection and safety as well so remember if you're detained you shut the fuck up you plead the fifth and you ask for your lawyer but again hopefully by using the first three parts of the script we won't even get that far simply showing that you know your constitutional rights by saying why'd you pull me over i'm not discussing my day am i detained or am i free to go these show a cop that you automatically know more about your civilian rights rights than the general public. And guess what? They'll be a little scared because knowledge is power, baby. If you're outwardly practicing your constitutional rights and they break those, <laughs> that's a bad look not only for them, their precinct, and it'll just come out in court. So remember your rights and don't be afraid to use them. 
stay assertive, but also stay respectful. No one got anywhere positively with a cop by being disrespectful to them. Also remember, never consent to a search. Searches are consensual. It is a scare tactic. Know your rights, guys. If there's anything I can say, it's just rewatch this video, remember the script. So you might be wondering, why don't I just answer the questions they're asking me? You don't. Anything you say can and will be used against you. Even an innocent statement will be twisted so that the cops can use it to fit their narrative about you as a criminal. In fact, studies have shown most people get caught up in legal repercussions because they've mentioned too much. And that is why they designed this script to not say more than what is necessary while sticking to your constitutional rights. Remember guys, the less you say the better. I'd also like to give you three key things of what not to do when you get pulled over on top of utilizing this script. I already mentioned it before, but don't consent to a search. You never have to consent to a search as that is your constitutional right and your property. If you volunteer consensual access to your vehicle, they could plant something or find something you didn't intend that could be used against you. Another one that should be obvious, don't admit anything. Even if you have committed a crime and you know that, don't admit anything. Three, this is the big one. Don't resist and don't argue. This is a clear way for the cops to power trip over you and say that you can be viewed as combative so then any force they take after that can be deemed as just, sadly. Remember, the goal is to avoid giving unnecessary information that can be used against you, but while also staying respectful. Let's go over the script one more time. Why'd you pull me over? I'm not discussing my day with you. Am I detained or am I free to go? I invoke my fifth amendment right. I want my lawyer. I don't consent to a search. This is something that could literally save you from getting a charge. So please remember this and take the script that is crafted by defense attorneys to heart. Remember them. And when you feel pressured by cops, lean into this script. Alrighty guys, if you found this video helpful and insightful, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you'd like to hear more educational and potentially life-saving advice from a Canna expert. If you're feeling up to it, leave a comment and we can keep the conversation going. Chat with me, I chat back. Also, if you might be interested in other videos, my previous upload was a baking some cookies while baked, and my next episode will be all of the Puffco's versus all of the Dr. Dabbers. I post videos every Thursday and Saturday, so I'll see you real soon. Peace! And if you didn't hear it yet today, I appreciate you. And never consent to a search from the cops.